Hello, everybody. I, I don't think I need this. <laughs> I will talk to you man to man, person to person, uh, human to human. Hello, everyone. I'm feeling very prepared. I read a WikiHow guide. It said, to do stand-up, you should say relatable things. Uh, I have class. <laughs> I enjoy a good glass of water. Um, but one thing that may not be as relatable, uh, I'm a dunce uh, a lot of the time. Uh, I hope that's not relatable to you. Um, so Ash Wednesday is coming up, but it has also happened before. Uh, and one of the times when it happened, uh, I didn't know what it was. It was just Wednesday to me. And so I was walking uh, to class. I, I set off on my walk, as you do. You also walk to classes. <laughs> yes, you do. Ah, good. And uh, I set off, and I uh, I ran into or I passed by a, a strapping young man who had this sort of oh maybe you don't know what Ash Wednesday is. Catholics is a thing Catholics uh, celebrate. Uh, maybe it's not a celebration. It's a ritual. <laughs> remind you of your uh, mortality. Um, but I didn't know this, and so I was walking. And I passed by a strapping young man who uh, had this sort of blurry X on his forehead. And I was like, ah, I wonder what fraternity is rushing. Uh, this is a very true story. And I thought nothing of it, because I'm not a fraternity, I don't care. And I kept walking. And I sort of reached sort of like Phelps Gate, Phelps Gate area. And then I passed by there's a young woman uh, who had much the same thing. It was sort of uh, like the cross. It was made of ash. It was a plus sign. It was a multiple page sign. I don't know. And I was like, oh, well, I get it. Oh, it's a fence thing. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> I like fence. Fence must be quite a nice fun time. I went for ash at school. I was like, oh, that's nice. And then I kept walking. And I did that crosswalk. You know that crosswalk where we uh, cross? Uh, it's between uh, Hopper and WLH. You know the one. And uh, I was walking across the street and I passed by an older woman. Um, who had the same thing, and I said to myself, Sam, this is not a data coming conclusion. <laughs> but I did find out what it was once I discovered Catholicism later that evening. Um, I realized I wasn't actually super duper far off. You know, if you're going right, you've got a, you've got a like, book cross on your head reminding you, you come from dust, and to dust you return. Like, that's a stellar hazing ritual. <laughs> That's really, it's denigrating. There's a physical manifestation. Everyone knows you're rushing this friend and so cool you got into it. And you know, you're like going to church, you're going into this place, with all your friends, they're playing music that's sort of played out, but it was pretty like. And sometimes it's in a sweaty basement. I don't know. Then why are you going in the first place if not to shotgun a goblet of the blood of Christ? Just the national chapter of a sacred Kai. I empathize a lot with the uh, BFG because I'm a big fucking guy. But I'm so friendly. Uh, I have many friends. Uh, I'm very popular. Uh, BPG, very popular guy. Uh, but one other thing I like about the BFG is he's very fantastical, sort of whimsical. There's a whimsical word that people don't take to be a whimsical word. The word is knapsack. Guys, you might not think knapsack is an exciting word, but you haven't said it enough. Knapsack, knapsack. Oh my gosh, where am I gonna put my naps? I'm gonna stuff them all into my knapsack. So I'm gonna go camping. I'm gonna get tired while I camp. So while I pack up my sandwiches and other stuff in my normal backpack, all my camping gear, I'm gonna also grab my knapsack and put a bunch of naps into it. So then when I'm camping, I can sort of sit down and be like, I've had a long day of hiking. Pull out my knapsack and just open it up, grab a nap, and then lay it down and go right to sleep. And then when I'm done with my nap, I can pack up my nap and put it back into the knapsack. So I like the BFG because he does things like that. With bottles, these sorts of things. Uh, I'm also tall, like the BFG. Sometimes people come up to me and are like, wow, you're so tall, and it's not surprising to me. <laughs> but they'll also say things like, how are you so tall? And I'm like, I don't know. How? How did this happen? I don't know an answer. It makes me sad for the whole day. Uh, another 
thing. I told you I had many friends. You all do as well. It's very relatable. Um, uh, sometimes those friends make fun of me. Um, I got. It's not new anymore, but when it was new, I got the new iPhone. As my good friend Sano mentioned, it does not have a headphone jack. Um, and so I have one of those dongle things. These things. <laughs> and they sort of, they made fun of me because I left it in the whole time. <laughs> because I like music. And so it makes more sense for me as a person who loves music and sometimes uses headphones with their computer to leave this headphone jack in because I listen to music on my computer more often than on my phone. Um, but they made fun of me anyway. And so, but I held it out and I was like, if they're really going to present this phone to people who love music, they should just be honest about it in the presentation. So when Steve Jobs comes up and he's like, if he's still alive, like, rest in peace. Uh, but if he comes back and it's like, I'm going to introduce this new phone, you should like come up there and be like, hello everyone, we have a new device, it's called the iPhone. <laughs> Love it. And thank you, everyone. Let's give Sam another round of applause.